Hello everybody, it's Renari. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be getting into and Hypen's new album, finally. I need to hear the rest of the songs other than Drunk Days, but that has been on repeat all night. And uh, so we have six songs total on the on the mini album. There's intro, there's Drunk Days, Fever, Not For Sale, Mixed Up, and the outro. Uh, we're just going to go through all of them. And I'm very excited. For those of you that don't know, I did order all three versions of the Border Carnival album. So as soon as I get those in, it should be at the end of this week, <laughs> um, I will do an unboxing video for you guys and see who I pull and the photos. And I'm just excited to have the physical releases. And I just really hope I enjoy the songs. And if you're just finding my channel, please subscribe to me down below. You can check out my Enhypen playlist. I've been with Enhypen since debut. Follow me on Twitter for updates and other things and comment down below as well so I can hear your thoughts and chat with you guys. We are going to do Fever, Not For Sale, Mixed Up, and the outro, the wormhole, uh, in this video. So let's go. Okay, so we are going to do the lyrics just because I want to make sure that I get the full song. As usual, you know, if you haven't seen any of my other videos, I'm not going to take the line distribution totally seriously. Like, I'll see it in the live performances. I'm not going to take the translation so literally. It might be wrong because it's so new. But uh, at least we'll get the gist of the song. Okay, I remember this now from the album preview. I was excited for this song. It's like a more R&B style though, more than I thought. Oh, okay, okay. Like what is that backing track? Okay, hold on. Like, okay, so they're talking about burning hands, which instantly reminds me of Given Taken. But it's not, they're not saying it's Sung Hoon that's saying it. Honestly, I don't know the voices. Like, I would have to focus more, not on our reaction. <laughs> I don't know if I was actually Jay, but I love that voice. <laughs> stop, please, don't stop, please. Ah. Oh, drum one. I know that's drum one. Did you hear his voice there? <laughs> oh my god, his voice is incredible there. I'm pretty sure that's his song. I his voice is freaking amazing right there because he's adding all these little ad libs that are so faint. They're not going crazy, and it just fits the flow of the song. This is such... Oh. That's my favorite line so far. That's gonna get stuck in my head. What is this breathing? Don't freaking breathe. Don't breathe. Don't breathe? That's not a thing to say. Don't... Don't... Don't put that in the mic. Don't stop. Oh. All day, all day. oh, I forgot about the deep, deep voice that we thought was Sanu or Nikki. Oh. I forgot about that. I can't go back. The whispers. Oh no. Hold on. If that is Nikki. If that is Nikki. 
If that is Nikki. Holy shit. Either way, it's really good, but if that's Nikki, they're really utilizing the vocals, which is exactly what we wanted. I'm gonna have to replay the song. I'm gonna replay it. I don't care. I love that little riff. Please don't be done. Please don't be done. I'm scared to look. Oh, I love that building up, building up. Oh, that harmony, that back, backing vocals. That was so short. That was so short. The best part of that song was, okay, this is wild because this is usually not a great thing. The best part of that song is that it was repetitive. That song was so repetitive. Every verse and every chorus was exactly like the same kind of repetition. Uh, it didn't really go anywhere crazy with the instrumental or the vocals. It was just the same flowing track and it's so relaxing it's kind of sexy it's kind of dark and mysterious and it just goes it just keeps going like almost if you hit a piano key and just kept it going you just hit it down and it takes forever to come down that's kind of what it felt like coming down like a fever Ah, oh, i oh i love this one i love this one i would not expect this from them Do I haven't watched the comeback show. I will. I hope they do this, because... Their vocals are really, really good on this. Really good. And that's another thing, is that the second I heard this, you hear Jung Wan, and you hear... I think it's Jung Wan, and it's uh, very auto-tuned, right? Like, they, they have an effect on their voice. They also had an effect on their voices in given, uh, sorry, in Drunk Dazed, and it was purposeful. It was for that party, techno, rave type of vibe. That was why they had the effects on their voice. And that was to the effect of the song. Like, the song was only what it was because of those effects. It would be a different type of song if it didn't have those. So I was disappointed for a second because I was like, I don't want every song to have that. It was great in Drunk Dazed the way that they used it. But this one, they use it completely different. They don't use it to get you hyped up to to have this party atmosphere. They use it for this like ominous feeling. I don't even know how to describe it, but they, they use the effects on their voice very well. But you can still hear their vocals coming through so strong on this, I feel like. It's a perfect combination. You get the effect and you get these clear vocals. I want you more the sicker I get. That better not be Jay. I swear to God, that better not be Jay. I. Oh. Who isn't singing that right now? Oh, it's so catchy. This better not be some hoon. Just, I, I don't want them to be doing this. <laughs> I can't wait to hear whose voice that is. I think it is some the deep one or Nikki. Wow.
it's so catchy. I am so impressed that this is an Enhypen song. I'm so impressed. They're growing up so fast. <laughs> That back vocals are nuts. Oh my god, I love that song. I love that song. Okay, after that we have Not For Sale, which is the one that reminds me of 10 months, like just from the album preview, which is interesting for going from Drunk Days to Fever, because that is like such a, a vibe change already. Like, it's like, it really feels like Drunk Days is the party, Fever is the after party, you're like kind of hungover. I don't know what Not For Sale is going to be like if it's that more happy 10 month style. Or maybe not? Oh, that piano. Vocals. Oh, babe. I am like a hundred percent sure that is Jay, and I want to cry. Oh. Oh my god, actual tears came to my eyes. Jesus. That was so deep. I ah 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 ah. Oh, it's so smooth. It's like a whisper in my ear. Oh my god. Oh my god, the way the music cut out and came back in, and it's so, it's still an R&B style. It's not like 10 months. I'm, I'm having an overload of sensation. It reminds me like an island. That bass. That is so high up there, like so, so smooth. Oh, take me now. Oh, Lord. Okay, I, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know I'm like, I'm usually not this extra. I am just, these are my... They they mean everything to me, and I <laughs> I can't I can't cope with what's happening. I can't cope with what's happening because these two songs so far have been brilliant and perfect for them. This little riff tells me nothing about the song. That is crazy. That tells you nothing about... I feel like it doesn't... It's not that it feels misplaced. It's just interesting that they chose that as the album preview. That little cut in the music. That little cut in the music is... Oh.
their vocals are so, so good. You can feel it. I also love the lyrics. I'm not really commenting on them, but they're great. Like, what even is that type of sound? Okay. Oh my god. I feel like... I, I don't know. This album is so much... I like this one better than the first one, and that is saying something because the first one just... I, I don't know. The first one was so good. Give and taken. Let me in. There was no misses on that album, but so far there's no misses here either. And it's kind of crazy because it's such a different sound than the the first album. Mixed up. I think I was most excited for this one. Which scares me. Okay. I have to commend them. Because there's one thing about Border Day One is that all the sounds, all the different songs didn't really match up together. I feel like you could kind of pair some of them together. Some of the sounds were the same. This album has the same vibe throughout the whole thing. This album is just, it has the same instrumentation, even though it's doing so many different things. All day long, all day long. Okay. Oh my god, is that Jay that said that? Is that Jay that said that? Okay, their DMs are on fire. They want us to forget them. It just... They're dealing with popularity. They're dealing with being in the spotlight, which is totally understandable. But what are all these? Does this even make sense? The thirst towards me. Boy, you did not just come for me because I feel attacked. They gotta stop doing that. They gotta stop doing that. Every song. They're going to have this breathy part every time. I, I... No. Back. You see that person that everyone talks about? Yes, it's me. Gosh. Oh no, I'm not ready for the show. <laughs> no. Okay, okay. Like, it's sad lyrics, but it's so- uh, it, crossed my, it, it crossed my boundary, maybe it's destiny, I won't stop. They're really dealing with this. Like, it's- some of the lyrics are sad, it's like they don't want it. Some of them are like, this is just the way it has to be and I have to get used to it. Which is like, probably exactly how they're feeling. Oh my god, I- mm. I won't stop. Can I do it down here? Can I do the rest of the reaction down here? I, 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 I. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. That. Uh, it's so much worse than before. It's so much worse than before when he did it and freaking let me in. It's so much worse because it's deeper. 
it's deeper, first of all. Second, I won't stop. That's what you're going to tell me? Ah. I'm having a fucking crisis right now. I won't stop. I won't stop. Stop it. You've got to stop it. You are... You are too much. You are too much. Oh my god, I'm not over that. I can't even listen to him anymore. Ooh, that falsetto. Okay, we're picking up. <laughs> I'm the most special person in the world. <laughs> you are, though. You all are. Ah. Uh, that is not his vocals. That is not. Please tell me that is an instrument. Please tell me that is an instrument. I don't know if you guys can hear that. I'm sure you guys can because I'm sure you've heard it already. But please tell me that's an instrument. How it goes, goes, goes in the background and then up. It keeps going. That must be an instrument, right? Because otherwise, I can only imagine it's his song. And I'm done. Uh, I cannot believe. Okay, I'll save my thoughts for after this, but outro of the wormhole, Jake narration again. Interesting. So, okay, the wormhole. We already knew there was going to be a wormhole. There's the upside down. They keep talking about that. There's like this, everything's upside down. They don't know what's happening. Feet leave no prints. I imagine that's talking about how they can teleport and, you know, their speed, I guess, if it's not teleporting, how they can fly around. Whatever vampire powers that they have that we've kind of seen. One ridge of a rugged universe, ridge across a line. Vision is without sight. Okay, vampires would have strong senses. Otherwise, they could be able to smell. There's also just a metaphor of you don't need to see to be able to see, to understand, to feel. And yet, when most I wink, then do mine eyes best see. When most I wink... Then do mine eyes best see. Interesting. And then see the unknown. As we commit our bodies, we become absorbed. 
multiple dimensions wait for us. There might be a world. As we commit our bodies, I mean, they did die. Like, to become a vampire, they did die. They're corpses. We become absorbed. Multiple dimensions wait for us. Maybe that's just the choice of, like, being good or evil. But you're becoming absorbed in what you are now. Like, you've kind of lost your humanity. There might be a world where day and night coexists. Okay, good and bad. But also, like, they can't go out in the daytime necessarily. Beside an ornamental flower, a tree stretches out its hideous branch. I assume that's just, just juxtaposing good and evil again. Ornamental flower, very pretty, beautiful, which vampires would have to be to lure in their prey. A tree stretches out its hideous branch. That is the evil. That is the fang side. The perfectly square mirror reveals a twisted scene. They can't see themselves in the mirror. In that dream, I face a completely different me. So dealing with the fact that they're vampires, thy fair imperfect shade. I assume, you know, vampires, they go white because they're corpses. They go like really, really pale. Through heavy sleep on sightless eyes doth stay. And when we wake at this tunnel's end, what vision awaits? I mean, it could be literal. It could be a literal wormhole. This universe could exist and there's a tunnel that they have to get through. To get back to themselves, to get back to, to get to another reality where things are better. I, I don't know. Or it could be metaphorical and just talking about the battle between being good or evil. I don't know, but that's my initial thoughts on it. <laughs> I cannot express to you enough how much I love this album. I really, I am in shock because I loved Border Day One. I already talked about it a little bit, but Flickr, for instance, I love that song because I watched Island, but when I heard it before I watched Island, I didn't like it as much. It wasn't my favorite song. Um, it's very, it's a very different song. It, it feels, I don't know, they, they took some creative liberties with it that I didn't expect, especially from a debut album and from like a group. Like I would expect Flickr to be more of a solo song almost. That's the kind of feel I get from it. I love Flickr now because I've grown with it. I've seen them performing on the island. I have been listening to it for the last five months or however long it's been out. Ten months I loved, but it is a different style, of course, from their vampire storyline, their darker give and take and concept. Let Me In is another one that is just very poppy on the same lines of give and take in, but it has those dark elements. Like that's what they both had in common. Let Me In and Give and Take and have these dark elements while being great pop songs, great dance songs, just perfect in every way. Intro and outro, you know, that's something completely separate, but I love that album. There were just some missing, there were some pieces that didn't fit together as well as this one does. This one, I feel like from intro to outro, you are getting a story just in the instrumental. And then they're talking about super important things. I love the lyrics so much to Mixed Up. I love Not For Sale as well. Uh, Fever, I love, I, I, I think Fever... I think Fever is my favorite. Potentially mixed up. I, I just think I love them all. Um, It's funny because I originally didn't think I would like Drunk Dazed. And then I did. Now hearing the rest of the album, it, it just sets up the rest of the album so well. I don't think I love Drunk Dazed as much as I do the rest of the album. I'm not going to rank them exactly, but like I just... They're all top tier songs and it's crazy because this is still a mini album. This is still, this is their second album. They're recently debuted group. I cannot get over that. I will never get over that, that what they're doing right now so early in their career. I, I, I don't know. Anyways, you guys know me. I ramble. I'm done rambling now. I'm going to go watch the show and you guys will see that very, very soon. Let me know your thoughts below on the album.